In these southern Appalachian mountains, a culture has been long growing for 200 and more years. It's becoming more and more important to all of us here in America and indeed to people all over the world. Most of it know it through the music of Nashville, the country music, but it, it has deeper roots that go far back into American time. People came bearing strains of the Norse adventurer, of Celtic fantasy, and of the Protestant revolution that helped to free mankind from the old tyrannies of kings and emperors. And in this grand setting, all were influenced by the civilized Cherokee town dwellers who taught them how to grow tobacco and corn and squash and how to play the mouth bow. But the Indians found that there was no end to the pale faces and no end to their greed for land and gold. And so a long and tragic war broke out that drove the Indians west on the Trail of Tears. They marched most of the Cherokees across into Oklahoma and killed lots of women and children, you know, in the marches. Mm -hmm. Are you proud of your Indian blood? Yes, sir. Definitely. Which music, I think, is a gift from God. And, and I'm proud to be a mountain man, and I'm proud to be a bandit picker. I don't care what you say about it. <laughs> Ray Fairchild is one of the stars of the modern Appalachian folk music revival. His costume and his tunes take us back to the time when these mountains were the southwestern frontier of the United States. A land of promise for Daniel Boone and his people who came pouring in from the impoverished lands of Northwest Europe. The only way in was up the mountain creeks and they drove their oxen right over the big boulders with, I pop my whip, I bring the blood, I make my leaders take the mud. These people didn't have symphonies or choruses, but they were highly artistic. There were great hands at the fiddle, at solo tunes. And they brought with them as their invisible baggage the great ballads of the past. Black is the color of my true love's hand. His face is like summer rosy fair. With the prettiest face and the neatest tan. I love the ground whereon he stands. So fare thee well, my own true love. Our time has passed, but I wish you well. Still I hope the day will come when you and I shall be as one. They had the, the great English ballads that are quite the equal of, of uh, the best lyric poets of Elizabethan days. <laughs> Black is the color of my true love's hair. Her cheeks are like the rosy fair, the prettiest eyes and the daintiest hands. I love the ground whereon she stands. A mountain boy. This 70,000 square miles of beautiful tangled green hills allowed uh, this British tradition time to reshape itself. And while it was being cut to pieces by the industrialization of Great Britain, it was finding a new home here, reforming itself, taking on a new, new uh, life on the frontier, a uh, life out of the cornfields and out of the whiskey stills and out of the feuds and, and out of the loneliness of, uh, of living and the difficulties of living in a new land. Most people don't understand Americans because they don't know how frightening it, it, it has been to leave home completely and pull up your roots and, and face the wilderness. Rain in, it's pouring, the rain is pouring down. I can't have my dine, I'll have no one in town. I'll have no one in town. I'll have no one in town. The times is really hard then, but you can make pretty plenty to eat on the farm. And we always had to work. From the time I was eight years old, I had to work. 
My mother, she plowed, hold corn, plow and make everything. When it's snowing, the world is turning bright. The sun lights up the daytime, but save Dinah for the night. Save Dinah for the night. Save Dinah for the There you see me uh, way up in the Smokies. We're about uh, oh, 4,000 feet near Boone, North Carolina. And I'm looking out uh, to go and see Stanley Hicks, who's a member of a, a family that came from Northern Ireland and uh, has just endless amount of stories and ballads and dance traditions. Tradition isn't static, it's growing. And Stanley turns out to tell me a story that he just made up a couple of days